Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathy watching Sampath Sanfix YouTube channel, and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. You can see Project Awaken version 3.1, Triton, Android version 13. You can see here. This is the Easter egg you get in Android 30 and 5th October 2020 is the latest security patch available for POCO X slash NFC. Kernel user is 4.14.290 LAUM 9.1 R1. You can read uh, further here. Serenix status is enforcing. The build date is October 13. Latest build available for POCO X slash NFC. You can see this is the CP throttling test of 100 threat test you can see the maximum score is 194 and average is 168 and minimum is 124 and it's throttle to 79 percent of its max performance if you continuously use there is a throttling going on it's quite common in many of the rooms only in few rooms it will be stable and it also depends guys it not show every time the accurate results that you need to keep in mind i'm moving into quick settings panel it's like this 113 shell the dark design is not here it's very good it's proper 113 look you can get in this particular awaken 3.1 version the settings and power button move down here if app is active you will see the notification and other notification media player will be visualized here and some of the data usage you can check out and these are the quick settings panel you get and there is option of fs information i will turn on you can check out the uh, fs information throughout the video from now and there is a screen recording feature only two options you get here apart from that all the features are working fine and if you want in furthermore you can add these options present in the edit section moving into dialer let me increase a little bit of volume here yeah this is the volume panel you can check out here and the direct video call feature is available here which is working fine no problem regarding that even the call recording feature is also working fine no problem regarding that and ui wise it's very very smooth as you can see even the quick settings panel also it's very smooth no lag whatsoever i really like the quick settings panel there is no any duplicating of android 13 or anything like that it looks like original android 13 quick settings panel that i really like it here and it's smooth enough and you can also see the fps count how it is changing and this is the app drawer you get this is all the apps present here fm radio is pre-installed here as you can see now currently fps is 0 or 1 when it is in static condition i really liked it moving into benchmark results as you can see enter the benchmark app opening time also you can judge by saying this massive 3 lakh 16 is the score and temperature raise was very very less 0 0.3 degree celsius and battery percentage drop is 2 percentage which is very good in my opinion this is going to be a powerfully efficient rom for poco x based on android 13 i am speaking here and benchmark like geekbench also have very good score you can judge the app opening time also as you can see the single score is 548 and multi score is 1507 and kernel as i said before based on 113 this is the scores are very good and i have internet connection of wi-fi here 100 mbps geo giga fiber connection is pulling up to 90 to 95 even with mobile data connection also working fine no problem regarding that earpiece problem also i don't have anything while making calls also it is getting connected carrier aggregation support is also working fine no problem regarding that safety net status it will get passed you can use all the payment applications like phone pay google pay whatever you want to use you can use those going to be work fine now want to watch audit application in high definition then you need to check here it's a level one certification hence you can watch all the audit applications in high definition resolution that's not the problem here and google maps everything is working fine no problem regarding whatsapp all the apps are working fine no problem regarding that and moving into camera this is an arno build gcam i have manually installed here you can see all the features are working fine if you want any other gcam parts you can definitely try it out in this particular room all are going to be work fine and google photos unlimited storage is available but high fps count in uh games like bgm or pubg mobile are simply missing here even in the settings also there is no any toggle to 
uh, enable or disable the google photo storage and this high fs but by default you get uh, google photos unlimited storage here that's not the problem and ui wise it's very very smooth as you can see I haven't faced any issues after me where recalina edition and evolution x this is the rom i have meant like it is very smooth that's because of it is pulling up to 120 fps you can see on the screen simultaneously and this is the actual settings panel you get in the settings only they have implemented the customization for example let me show with battery as you can see you get thermal profiles here and battery usage also let me try to show you as you can see it's going to be a battery efficient rom and it's also powerful enough to handle your games but high fps count is simply missing here i'll tell that in while showing the bgm gameplay you can check out here and battery manager you get here so status bar battery indicator as i said the customization are embedded into the actual settings only there are no separate customization here you can check out now moving into sound and vibration here also lot more customizations are available and basic sound settings like vibration and haptics you can see here those are working fine here no problem and direct sound settings you get plenty of options here this is default i guess you get all the four options here whenever you switch to android 13 that's really good thing i have seen this for many roms now it's carried away for this rom also hope it carried throughout the roms and accessibility menu which is a handy feature you should definitely try it out as you can see without using the actual physical buttons you can increase or decrease the volume brightness and you can go some of the you can wake the assistant also this is cool in my opinion and some of the other accessibility settings like display size and text you can increase or decrease them and live transcribe sound notifications those things you can customize from here now moving into actual display settings adaptive brightness working fine screen time you can choose out dark theme let me show you and there is a pure black option here which is really important for me as you can see right now it is in pitch black condition that's really good in my opinion basic things have been took carefully and head body font you can change here icon shape icon pack display size and test again it go back to accessibility menu night light feature also available you can schedule and increase the decrease the intensity and colors option rgb strength and some of the presets has been given peak refresh rate kept to 120 and adaptive refresh rate i don't think so it have but still you can check out here it is having adaptive refresh rate i mean from one to 120 it keep on changes based upon your usage full screen apps if certain apps not playing in full screen you can enable from here display customization has been added here little bit are there but still it's there app refresh rate you can check out here per app refresh rate you can choose from here accessibility menu i already shown you security you get just fingerprint unlock here no face unlock or anything like that and rom is encrypted by rom is encrypted by default you can see here that's not the problem here and location google maps are working fine no problem regarding that safety and emergency passwords and account autofill those things are working fine no problem regarding that and digital well-being it's quite similar here compared to any android 12 roms also it's similar and system settings if you go into gesture into system navigation gesture navigation there is option to increase or decrease the pill length that's quite interesting and pill radius i don't think so we required because it's already thick enough and some of the other customization like dead zone and left edge right edge sensitivity full screen gestures you can enable if you want to go back to traditional three button navigation that's also available and quick torch option one handed mode quickly open camera and swipe to screenshot three finger those customization i mean gesture customization available you won't get any update here you need to manually flash here i recommend to flash always clean flash that's how it is and uh, these are the settings and actual settings and uh, customization and everything available here benchmark results everything i hope explained here and recorder this is an android 13 style you get and even wallpapers and style you get this kind of new wallpapers here and if i go into wallpapers and style basic colors as you can see the combination of colors and different uh, i mean different different styles you will get from this particular android 13 you can choose from here themed icons dark theme i already explained app grid you get up to 5 into 5 from 2 into 2 that's how it is this is the android 13 feature and if i go and press here widgets this is an android 13 widgets battery widget you get it and clock widget it was present in android 12 also let's drag and keep here this is how it looks and again if i drag and press here into home settings this is a proper 
pixel launcher and at a glance there are a lot more options for example some more see more options here yeah and control using data from maps microphone access some of the options you can check out here earthquake alert fitness bedtime there is also some options like this thing by enable battery link then recent launch i mean pixel 7 devices i have seen even torchlight also you can on from here in at a glance you can touch and turn off them from here but anyhow this how it is i will show you the bj map simulable gameplay you guys can see here the graphic settings is just set to smooth plus ultra only nothing fancy or anything like to increase the fs count here that's how it is but ui wise it's fine actually if you don't game well and if you know how to enable high fs count this is going to be a top class rom for poco x3 slash nfc as of now i haven't seen this much smooth and 13 rom for any devices and volume panel you can see volume is also loud enough here There is good FPS, I will, I can't change it, but you can see, I guess, the FPS count, it's stable 40 FPS here. Okay, I will come back here. And also show you the charging animation. It should, yeah, it is supporting charging rapidly. I mean, fast charging, 33 watt charging support is available here. And fingerprint unlock speeds you can judge here. As you can see, maybe it's press option is given. Let me try again. Yeah, it is unlocking. It's not fast enough, I don't know. Yeah, it's now quite good. And this is the ROM available as you can see. This is going to be a very good ROM for Poco X slash NFC. I think this is the only ROM I can suggest. I mean, after Evolution X, this is the only ROM I can suggest to use it as a daily driver. As of now, if you want to use Android 13, then you can definitely look out this ROM. It is very stable and all the basic features are working fine. I don't find any bugs as of now. If I can find or if anyone find it out, let me know in the comment section guys. And if you are first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like also. And uh, that's it. Pretty good. This ROM is, you can definitely have it as a daily driver. I don't think so. Any ROM can come close to this and Evolution X based on Android 13 I am speaking. That's how it is. We'll meet you with another interesting video. Until that, keep smelling. Bye bye for now. Check for advanced restart button, which is available here. As you can see, I'm directly booting into recovery using that. If you don't have that, use the power button and volume up button to boot into recovery. Should use the same recovery 3.7.0.0 Surya. Once it's booted into recovery, go to wipe section and select your advanced weapon. Select Dalvi package cache and cache metadata and data. Swipe here to wipe it. Done. Now go into install and select the micro SD card or wherever you downloaded the ROM zip files. There, first flash the firmware always 13.0.1 Surya Global. Flash the same. Then again go to install and select the ROM zip file. In this video, I am going to flash this Awaken OS 3.1. It takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM, wait until it gets flashed. As you can see the ROM zip file has been flashed successfully here and go to home and select here wipe and select this format data and type here yes and persist tick button done home reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of this particular ROM